So there is a super simple offer that I've been using across over 50 agency accounts, using it to book meetings, using it to sign clients, and I have never found a message, an offer as simple as this that gets such high results. And if you don't know already, I used to run an acquisition agency where I'd partner with marketing agencies and run their outbound campaigns, help them with sales, help them with their offers. And using this offer, I've booked the meetings with million dollar companies, I've booked the meetings with billion dollar companies. We've used this to sign million dollar deals, we've used to book over 100 meetings in a single month. And what I wanna do is share exactly how I found out about this offer, exactly what this offer is, and how you can start using it in your outreach to start booking more meetings and closing more deals today. So when I first left high school, I was looking to start my agency. And what I decided on was I was going to run an appointment setting agency. And the goal with that was, you know, I could book meetings for myself, I could sign clients for myself. And then what I would do is I would use those same skills that I learned for myself and do it for my clients, right? In my eyes, this was the, the best case scenario, right? I didn't have to learn Facebook ads or YouTube ads. I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. So I was fresh out of high school, no skills, nothing. I just wanted to make money, to be honest. So what happened was I was trying to do this. I was trying to book meetings for myself and I was doing it very, very well. Like it is very easy for me to get onto calls, I wasn't very good at sales, but even then my, my offer was good. So I got the deals closed. But what happened was I ran into an issue with the delivery for my clients. So my first client ever, it was an SEO agency, right? The guy's name was George. George, if you're watching this, um, good to see you. So I was running it for him. And even though I was, I was getting some meetings, I was booking like one to three meetings per week for him, but it wasn't enough. His expectation that he was gonna be getting like one or two every single day. And this is what I promised, right? I was like the stand agency owner when I was first starting out in that, you know, I made these promises, now I had to actually fulfill on it. So because I was in a situation where, you know, where you promise your clients results and you know you want to get, like you would work all day, every day just to get these results because, you know, when your clients are upset, when they message you in Slack and you have this anxiety and checking the messages and it's, you know, every single night you're just thinking, oh, what if he leaves? What if he leaves? What if he's angry? All these things. And especially when it's your first one, it gets so magnified in your brain that it's like, ah, oh, like you need to make this work. So. What I was doing was I was online researching, how can I get more bookings? How can I sign more clients? And what happened was I ended up getting offered by this course or someone who had a course. And they told me that they can help me get more bookings every single month on a pay on results basis. So in my eyes, as a complete beginner in the space, I was like pay on results. So they're gonna, they're gonna deliver results for me. And I only pay when they get results. That's fantastic. So I booked a call, went through the whole discovery phase. They asked the emotional questions. Why do you want to make 10K? Oh, so I can do this, this, and this. All of that happened. And then they ended up pitching me like six, 7K upfront. But in my mind, you know, I was so fixated on the outcome. They did such a good job of, you know, talking about the outcome, how this can solve my problems that I didn't even worry about the fact they said pay on results and they're pitching like 7K upfront. Like it didn't even cross my mind. So I ended up joining the course, learned all the information, applied it and I actually got results. Like it was, a, it was a very good course. But the key point is the offer that they made. They made the offer of pay on results. I joined the call. I didn't even think about the fact that it wasn't. I signed up for 7K upfront and then you know, everything was good. So one of the lessons that I actually learned was the goal of the offer is to get someone onto the call, right? This is what you say in the message. This is what you say in your, your outreach message, your LinkedIn message, anything that you're using to get the attention, your ads. The goal of this is to get the booking, right? And this is what happened to me. I got finessed essentially onto a booking. And then on the call, that's when you take it through the process. And the goal of the call is to get the deal closed, right? So I started applying this methodology, this way of thinking to my clients, right? I scheduled meetings with them and I was like, look, I've got this new method. Um, we're gonna try this messaging. It's around the idea of pay on results. Look, it's okay. The goal is to just get them onto the call. And then from there, you just gotta close the deal. And I even helped them with like sales training and all of that, just to make sure that they didn't, you know, they didn't have a bad call and they were upset with me and then everything went wrong. So we changed the campaigns. We put the wording of pay on results on the new offer and genuinely the results were massive. Like when I say the results doubled to tripled, I'm not even exaggerating. They genuinely got three times the results in their campaigns by just adding this one phrase at the end of the sentence. And honestly, there's no better feeling in the world than having angry clients, making a change, telling them that it's gonna work out and then it actually works out. And this is a change that we made. Now, what I wanna emphasize is that the point of this video isn't to tell you to say one thing in the message and then get them onto call and say something completely different. Like that is not the goal. But what I do wanna emphasize is just what I found in doing this. I thought I'd be as open as and transparent as I can about this process and this is what's worked. So if you wanna use it, by all means, that's up to you. If you don't, then again, it doesn't change my life. But the lesson that I learned is that you need to put all of your energy in your marketing to get the booking. Then you need to put all your energy in the sales process to get the sale. 
These are two independent activities and you need to treat it in this way because I see a lot of people, especially our clients, right? So right now we work with agencies on a, a done with you basis. I coach them one-on-one -on -one to help them add an extra 10, 20, 30, 50K a month. And if you want more info, just you know check the description. But they always come to me in a situation where they're sending these messages, but they're essentially trying to sell their service in the market. So they'll be sending messages like, you know, we have the best Facebook advertising services. Our pricing is at this much and all this stuff. And when I was running my campaigns for my clients, I'll be honest, I didn't even mention how we got the outcome. So we would say things like, we'll help you increase your revenue by 50K. Um, we help these people, would you be open to more info? And we do it on a pay and results basis. And I didn't even mention the service. They don't even know how we do it. But all that mattered is that we did it. And the last thing that I want to cover is a lot of people in these situations, they, they hear this, but then they think, okay, but I'm charging upfront. I'm charging a setup. I'm charging a retainer. I can't actually you know, use this message. And the truth is that you actually can, right? When I used to sell uh, paper performance lead generation, so they'd pay me, let's say four, five, even up to seven K setup one time. And this is what we help our clients to do. And then they pay around 100 per booking. So my clients pay me 7K upfront, 100 per booking. And even with a pricing model like that, I still sell it as pay on results because they pay the setup. It helps to get everything going. And then they just pay when they get results. And in the same way that if you have a retainer. So I actually graduated from this point charging pay per booking to charging around 4K a month. At a certain point, our agency was charging around 26,000 upfront just for our services. But regardless, even when we were charging a retainer, we had a guarantee on it. So if they didn't get a certain amount of bookings, they didn't get a certain outcome, then we just refund some of the money. So even then, we can still refer to this as pay on results. And the way to look at it is, look, maybe one in 10 people, one in 20, you'll get the objection. They'll ask you, hey, like I thought it was, you know, performance based. And you'll be like, sorry, that's not the case. We do it in this way and it's perfectly fine. But the amount of bookings that you would get compared to if you didn't have this would be completely different. You may get you know, 30 bookings, but two objections using it this way versus getting, I don't know, three bookings and no objections. So it's like, I would rather be in a situation where I had too many calls and had to handle some objections than being in a situation where I have none. So use this for yourself. Let me know how it goes and I guarantee it'll work for you.